Well, hello there. I'm Kim Berry, editor of Food and Drink Business. Welcome to our weekly news roundup, brought to you by Allied Finishers, specialists in hygiene and safety solutions, tailored for the food and beverage industry from the floor up. Now, some, house, uh, some housekeeping first up. Head to the website, foodanddrinkbusiness.com.au for our, the digital version of our latest magazine edition. As always, packed with great stories about everything from trends in snacking, the latest in processing tech, how to succeed on Amazon, and remarkable tales of innovation. Our cover story this issue is about global wastewater solutions company Hydroflux and how it achieved carbon neutrality. What I love about this article is that it looks at both how Hydroflux did it, but also shares how other companies can start on their path to zero, as well as highlighting the broader business ramifications that are playing out as this becomes a must have rather than a would be nice. The other big news, our annual Food and Drink Business Live event is back. The first since 2019. We're going to be in Melbourne. It's a breakfast forum, so the Stella lineup doesn't get entice you there. The lure of caffeine and pastries can. Our theme this year is business, not as usual, because quite frankly, what does usual even look like anymore? We have the most cracking lineup of speakers. CEO and founder of Bubs Australia, Christy Carr, Eden Brew CEO, Jim Fader, KPMG consumer packaged goods and agribusiness national sector lead, Georgie Ailey, and one of the country's most highly regarded specialists when it comes to sustainability and environmental uh, uh, matters, the CEO of Crest Consulting, Julia Seddon. We also have an awesome panel, but I'm saving them up for next week. So head to the website. All the details are there under events slash live 2022. Get to buy your tickets, get a table, bring your clients or your mum. The main thing is be in that room. I'm as giddy as an aunt about it. You might have told, you might be able to tell. Anyway, shall we talk about some industry news? <laughs> There's been a lot of movement at the station this week. Uh, Costa Group CEO Sean Hallahan startled the horses with his uh, sudden resignation this week. The previous CEO, Harry Debney, will step back into the role while a replacement is found. AA Co has confirmed its acting CEO and managing director, David Harris, is now its official CEO and managing director. Harris was the company's COO until Hugh Killen spooked the cattle giant's herd with his sudden resignation in March. The news was also a reminder that in the first six months of this year, Andrew Forrest's private investment arm Tatarang poured $187.8 million into AA Co over three transactions to end up with a 17.4% stake in the company. And a catch up for missing last week as we all took a moment to mark Lily Betts passing. Fonterra has decided that it likes us after all and it will not be uh, offloading its Australian operations. Coles realised that having part of its business heavily invested at, uh, in retailing at petrol stations probably didn't quite sit uh, that well with its goal of becoming the country's most environmentally sustainable retailer. So it's offloaded 710 Coles Express branded fuel and convenience sites to its partner in the endeavour, Viva Energy, for a tasty $300 million. And Singaporean private equity firm PAG has bought Patty's Foods and Vesco Foods for around $550 million. That's a lot of four and 20 meat pies and lean cuisines. Now, for the two of you that are still watching, you know the drill. For all these stories and more, head to the website, foodanddrinkbusiness.com.au. Thanks once again to Allied Finishers. And with that, I'm Kim Berry. Go to the website, buy your live tickets. Over and out.